Here we have a Yamaha YZF R125. Very nice colours. These are one of my favourite colours, uh, the blue and silver. Uh, I will start with the good and bad on that. The mileage, it will be a picture online. One of the pictures will have the miles shown online. And if this one is got any category uh, insurance loss or any categorised, it will be listed on, on the ad as well. I think this one clear, but please double check the ad. Uh, I will list on what I could see. There's a complete standard R125, which is always a good sign. That means there's nobody played with it. Brand new uh, rear um, brake pads. This is the ABS model. You see a scrape and a scratch here on the rear bottom of the exhaust. You've also got a crack in here. It's not very noticeable. It's only if you know about them, you'll know that where, where the crack is. Uh, front tire is legal. They are not brand new, but they are road legal. So they're good to go. Good front discs. This is the uh, smaller discs here for the ABS model. Um, here, you've got a small scratch on the side. Paint coming off here and a scratch here. Maybe it had a slow drop on this side, but honestly, it's too clean. Um, mileage, again, it will be online listed. Uh, the bike needs nothing, it will start straight away. You've got standard rear tail tidy and with the standard indicators and the standard rear number plate. Generally, you get them smaller. You've got the rear seat, pillion seat standard, the pillion pegs. Are they standard? Generally, you see them removed of these R125s. It just makes it look a lot bigger. Um, the lights work. I've showed you the lights. They're all working. The only thing not working is the horn. It made a small noise, uh, but I think some generally when you leave them for a while, they start doing that, and then they come back within time. Or you can change it. They cost ten pound on eBay or fifteen pound, whichever uh, quality you choose. Uh, chain seems okay. It's not brand new again but it's functional and it doesn't need changing for the time being. This side it seems very clean. Back tire is almost brand new. You can still see the flakes here. I'm not sure if you can see them in camera or when it goes to that side. Uh, so it's good to go. Uh, again, I'm gonna mention the same scratch here at the bottom of the exhaust and the crack here is what I can see. Uh, other than that, I've taken pictures of the inside. Uh, this bike, the key has been changed, so it's got different key for the ignition. It's got two keys for the ignition and I think one key for the fuel cap. Uh, this suggests that someone attempts to steal it or it was stolen, recovered at one point of its life. Generally, this is the case when we have them like that, when it's got two keys. Uh, very rare, oh, I've, I've noticed another scratch here. Not sure if you can see it in the camera. Again, it's not very noticeable, uh, but we try to mention whatever we can see. Uh, you've got scratches here. Uh, I'm not sure why would that have be here, uh, but some there. And uh, that's it. So two sets of keys. Uh, bike starts on a button. It rides really well. Uh, no issues with that. Uh, panels look very clean from far. If you can put up with that scratch here and that little crack, uh, it's a very good bike to go for, especially for the price uh, we're going to put it up. Uh, again, I wouldn't know until later on, uh, the price will be online. Everything functional, uh, Yamaha R125, blue, you've got the blue wheels as well, remember. Uh, they're, not, they're very limited with these and I like them where they match the panels. That'll be it for me for the Yamaha R125 and remember also, this is a 67 plate. Uh, so 67, 2016, beginning of 2000, late 2016 and beginning of 2017. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's not a very old uh, model. That'll be it for me for the WF67 Yamaha R125. Thank you.